The emergency manager is a part of fascism. Now I'm not talking about fascism that Hitler was under because they needed the fascism to expand their, their uh, Germany and all the stuff. Right now, they need fascism to try to keep us in, in, in uh, chains again for the benefit of the corporations. Because if they don't need your behind the work, they don't need to feed, help you to get fed. Right. They don't want you to have a house. Right. And then you got the nerve to be talking about universal health care. Right. You don't need to live. Right. And they don't care. If you don't believe me, look at the profits they still making. Uh, Henry Ford ain't missed the beat when it comes down to medi uh, that hospital over there. And they constantly expanding. And look at the school system. You want to cry. Highland Park, all the schools are chartered. All of them. And what we're talking about, even out of the great city of Highland Park, and I know we're the capital of Detroit. We're calling, we're calling a summit. And this summit is because we are suffering over there. This summit is for every city Every school district that have had to live up on an emergency financial manager, under a, an emergency manager, we need to come together and begin to get some uh, strategy for the state. And we don't need to leave none of these uh, cities, townships, school districts out. And that's, that's going to probably be held right here in Detroit. Just the one. We don't need but a one day. And the purpose is not only we come out with that strategy, because I'm not going to tell it. I don't know about you, but I'm not going to lay down and let them take our water. Not only our water, they it took too much from us. And it's all up to us. And we need to sit out, stop sitting back thinking that, uh, somebody going to ride in and save us. Because all of us are leaders in here. We're going to save, and we're going to save ourselves. We're going to have to break down this whole vision that constantly exists between the community and organized labor. We're going to have to break down the division in some of these churches and understand that your brick and mortar don't mean nothing to me if you're not participating in, the, uh, in these fights out here. Because if we have to go and pick at some of these churches, we need to. Because they same congregation that we have to deal with five days a week are in there trying to support that religious uh, institution. We're gonna have to begin to start preaching out here. Preaching in a sense, get the little soapbox back out and teaching these young brothers and sisters that it's not your fault that you out here on this corner. But if you remain out here, yeah, we'll come to your funeral and we're not going to cry over you because you didn't join the fight. Thank you for having me today.